In this tech tip, I'm going to show you how to wire your factory mod scene in Inventor. So let's start by making sure we're working with a solid floor. Next, let's go into our mod's animations asset and start by adding a straight bell conveyor followed by a Y merge conveyor. Next, let's place our generator into the scene. In the properties panel, let's remove blue as one of the sources. Next, let's go into the sinks folder and add a teleporter. To do this, let's go into snap types and select snap to surface. Then let's snap the teleporter to the railing of the conveyor and rotate it so the sensor is crossing the belt. Let's add a second teleporter to the end of the Y merge. Next, let's go into the actuators folder and place a smart pusher into the scene. To do this, let's go back to snap types and select snap to vertex or edge. Then let's snap to this vertex on the Y merge. In the properties panel, let's make sure we delete everything but red in the push sources. This will make sure that the pusher only pushes red boxes. Next, let's add our buffers to the scene. Let's add a palette. And then a rack. Next we're going to wire our teleporters so they send the boxes to the buffers when they pass through the sensor beam. So to do this, let's select our first teleporter and under FM buffers what we're going to do is type in the name of the buffer we want to send the box to. In this case, we want to send it to palette 1. So let's type in palette 1 and hit enter. Let's do the same for the other one, except this time we're going to send it to rack 1. Now let's save our scene, zoom in a little bit, and then launch factory mods. Now in factory mods, let's press play and see what happens. So you notice when the box hits the beam, it teleports to the desired buffer.